All right, so we're going to be taking my automatic door closer um, that I've set up previously. You can watch that full video to see how I set everything up here, all the wiring and the mechanical stuff. Um, the only thing that we're going to be changing is the relay. I originally used the Shelly 2. Today, we're going to have a native home kit relay. This is the Core T2. So to do this, we have four ports up here because this is the wet they call it a wet uh connection or something like that that this jumper wire needs to be in here um and then we're not using any of these ports down here and then this is the, in, the zigbee antenna so you have the end which is the neutral you have the line the l and then you have l1 l2 these are load uh, one and load two so if you have your power wire coming in you're going to have the positive side or the line side um, that is going to go in to the L right here. So we're going to hook this up. We want to make sure it gets in there all the way. And obviously I am not a licensed electrician. So definitely uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying and what I'm doing, do not attempt this. Make sure you take all the precautions, turn off the power and whatnot. And if you don't understand the wiring, um, definitely seek a professional. All right, so then the neutral side of the power wire is going to go into neutral over here. I just want to make sure that's in there. And then we're going to tighten it down. All right. And then the two loads, well, it doesn't really matter which way. You'll have to... Um, figure out which way it's turning and inside the app you can set up which one is which um, so one's going to be closing it and one way is going to be resetting it and you can easily change that in the app so it really doesn't matter which one is load one and which one is load two let's get load one in there first and tighten this up Get load two in there all the way and tighten this one up. Okay. And then I like to go back through and just make sure they're all tightened because we do not want any loose wires whatsoever. Okay. Make sure no wires hanging out. We're looking good. All right. We can turn the power on. And as you can see, we have a blue light right there. We're good to go. So you want to bring this into their core app, which I've done previously. I'm not gonna bore you with that. It's super easy to bring into their core app. Okay, I have it here and here are your two switches. Now I do want to let you know because um, you have two loads on here. This is like a shutter motor. So it's gonna move the motor in one direction with one load and then move the motor in the other direction with the other button. So they do have what's called a interlock mode, which you do want to turn on right here. That will prevent both of the switches to be on at the same time. Um, you don't want them on at the same time because I'm assuming it would probably burn up the motor and you don't want that. So you can see here, I can press it one way. This is, I call this one the reset. It turns one way. And then I can press the other one and it will turn the other way. Just like that. So you can see this is working. And as you can see, it is native to HomeKit. So I can turn the motor one way and close it with one switch. And then I can have a automation that will reset it. And you can see with the interlock mode, the other one turns off. So definitely you can automate your door to close and to reset it just the same way that I have in my full uh, door closing video. The attic door. Okay, the attic door is on. <laughs> and of course you can open it right up, just like that. So if you want to see how to get this installed onto your door and how to 
um, make this whole thing. Um, definitely see my other video. Um, this is just about the Core T2, which is very useful relay. The only downside to this is it's quite large comparing this to other relays I've previously had. This is probably about half the size. Um, this is Zigbee, so you will need Air Core Zigbee Hub. Um, I also don't love that there's this antenna that can definitely get damaged. Um, and you do want to be aware because of the size of this, um, it's not going to be easy to get this into a junction box. And you might uh, even be breaking some codes because it's too much in a junction box. Um, you just can't over overstuff a junction box. Um, the wires and everything inside needs to, I guess you would call it the breathe. Um, I'm not quite sure what the, the legal technical term is of that. So overall, I give the Accord T2 Relay a two thumbs up. Um, just be aware of the size and also it is not for uh, just the general homeowner. Uh, you do need some advanced skills and knowledge to use this. Um, there's a lot of videos online that you can watch to see how people use this. Various switches, outlets, fans, uh, garage door openers, and things like little electrical things like this, like a door closer.